Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you a demonstration of a Padding Planner application in Spring Boot in Hibernate. So it's using a Spring Boot Hibernate JSP and uh, JSP and HTML and Bootstrap. Okay, uh, so front end is in JSP, uh, HTML and Bootstrap. The back end is in Spring Boot, JSP, Hibernate and JPA. And to manage or store the information it's using MBC architecture as uh, um, MySQL. So here we have a MySQL workbench and uh, in the MySQL workbench we have this database that contains these tables and to view the data of any table just right click on the table select the first option you will able to see the information over there and uh, okay uh, now if you have taken this project and uh, uh, from the code one or you want to planning to take the project so we will do the complete setup at your machine in this condition and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute and uh, execute and um, view the features and functionality of the application so how can you run it the first thing uh, this is your root folder of the projects so open it and go to src main java this is your application dot uh, java file that is a, a runner file in case of a spring boot so just right click on it go to run as run it as a java application and wait until it will spring boot will start your server and it will give you a tomcat message uh, like tomcat is running on a specific port number so you can see here the messages is there tomcat is started on port number at 0 1 now go to your src main resources folder open your application your property file here we have created one dummy url just copy this url at your real time browser and there you go uh, you will see a welcome page okay now let's follow uh, how can we execute the application so here we have an option to register as a new user so there are two types of user admin and next user so first i'm going to log in as an admin and see what admin can do then we'll move to the user side and see what user can do over here so i just enter the credential for the admin user from my database and i just hit the sign in button now what i can see i can see the user list user module over there so as a admin i can add a new user over there always so i just enter some dummy information uh, the fields information click to add the new user add, added here with a last name as a pick so i just added this user if i want i can edit it as a user so i will say some add some extra key okay now uh, that's fine now the information is showing it here if i want delete any record any user list i can delete by clicking on this delete button so the record is deleted now if i want to search a new record or um, search any particular user from this search functionality i can search it from here so i just click on the search and the data is filtered when i hit the reset button again the complete data will be come another option we have to add packages so this is packages about the wedding packages so what packages we need to add so wedding packages so it means the title so they can new package new package new package description i'm um, just adding a dummy content you can add a meaningful content over there uh, venue let's add one venue price let's say 50k and like this flex it's 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 in legs okay no problem amenities uh like we can add a food uh, we can add uh, some other amenities so i'm just adding a dummy content over there you can add as per your requirement okay choose an image so again i'm going to add a demonstration image you can add a real time and meaningful image over there so the package is added successfully when i view the list of package it will be displayed like this so as an admin i have option to edit them delete them or book a new package over there so uh, under the booking history section you will see the bookings that is done by the customers and you you can cancel it uh, if required under the payment section you will see the payment details that is done by the uh, users so let's move to the end user and check what a user can do over there and how can they book the wedding plans so i just refresh my database recently we have added this user so i'm going to log in with this user now i just enter login id password over there okay how will you differentiate uh this is user or admin so you can check the user code over here if a new user registered as an admin it will be treated as admin or it will be as a user then it will be treated as a user 
so I have logged in as a new user and under the package list I can check the list of packages but I'm a user and user so I don't have a permission to edit or delete these packages but I can book any of them now so when I hit the book now so before booking I can check the details over there description the price the PF site the venue and all the detail amenities and all after that what I need to do uh, while we booking I need to just select the date of the booking previous dates are disabled so I can select the date that is uh, coming and now uh, some information like first name last name and the email in uh, package title that I've choose is already uh, fetched from the database and then K pay and book it will ask me to enter the card number so I just enter the card number card details I select the date and the price is automatically coming from the selected package when I hit the pay the save payment done now I can check my booking history as a user I can see the details I can also cancel it I can make the I can check the panel history over there my profile section is there and the logout so so all about the wedding planner project and a spring boot and have on it so in case you need the source code just connect over to us over the whatsapp email or skype and don't worry about the configuration set of the project we have remote team that's going to help you to connect uh, with your machine and do the setup with your machine thank you